To me, that's a good thing. I need to make sure I smell good, hello? I just wanna make sure that when I have on my fragrance, you smell it. I don't need any confusion, do you understand? Oh, there's no pump, okay. So there's no pump in this? Y'all did not tell me that, okay. So we just dump it out. Jesus, lamb, now I don't know which one to do. <laughs> you know that I have my chrome plate laid out. <laughs> You've been here for a while, you know what, you know what, you know what's a guan. <laughs> you know what guan, okay? We're gonna do a weird test. I'm gonna go to the pool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just see how this is gonna hold up or whatever. What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are going to be trying out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I know, I know, I know, I've never used it. It's pretty insane, but I'm excited to wear it today and do a wear test for you. Before we start, though, I do want to share with you my fragrance of the day because it's just something I want to do in these videos because you know I love a good fragrance and this one is new, so let me show you. This is the Armani Beauty My Way Floral Eau de Parfum. It's a classic floral. It has notes of pedigree, tuberose, and vanilla. And let me just tell you, first of all, it is repackaged because if you know, I've gone through several of these, first of all, okay? I have two of them and I have the intense version. You saw me refill it in a whole different, you know, a whole different video. But I want to show you this new one because first of all, it's repackaged. It's the floral version of the My Way fragrance and the notes are different. It does smell different in a great way. To me, it's perfect for the summertime, for the springtime. Really and truly, it's so sweet that I would still wear it even in the fall. Now, you know I always wear fragrance, honey, morning, noon, and night. So today, let's go ahead and spray this on, baby. Right in the middle of the chest. Get the sides of the neck. And the spritzer is really soaking the body. To me, that's a good thing. I need to make sure I smell good, hello? I am an excess sprayer. It is so sweet. I just wanna make sure that when I have on my fragrance, you smell it. I don't need any confusion, do you understand? All right, now I am gonna spray my legs. <laughs> I just am that kind of person, okay? Because I don't want there to be any mistaking whether or not I have on a fragrance because I want, I want to be smelled. It's important to be smelled, okay? And I got to smell good. I don't know about you, but a fragrance makes me feel sexy. You need a good fragrance, okay? So check my description box for a link to the product and thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the foundation and the wear test. Alrighty, so we have three of the different foundations. One is the color Deep Amber and that's 7N1. Then next we have Rich Mahogany, that's 7C1 and Espresso 8N1. Already, I feel like Espresso is going to be my shade just because of one, the name and the deepness of it, but let's do a swatch. These were sent to me and if you've been here for a while, you know that during COVID, I purchased one of these and never used it. So it may or may not have expired. I don't even know, but let's just, here we are. Okay, here we are, praise the Lord. I did get them sent to me. Oh, there's no pump, okay. So there's no pump in this? Y'all did not tell me that, okay. So we just dump it out. I want to swatch it. Am I just gonna go like this? <laughs> Okay, this is 7N1, okay? We're gonna swatch before we, nope, not gonna work, you know? Now I did just dip it one, well, you might still feel like it's contaminated. I'm gonna give this away. If you get it, hey, listen, my hands are clean, praise the Lord, okay? This is 7C1 Rich Mahogany. Rich Mahogany already tells me warm, I just know. So let's see, and I don't do warm, I do neutral. What if none of these match me? Can you imagine? I mean, you know I can make a warm shade work, but I don't want to today. I really do love to just stick with neutral. So there's that one. It's looking cool. Mm. It probably blends out well, you know that, right? We've talked about this where it'll look crazy like that, but it'll blend, blend out well. I'm gonna hold on that for a second. And then this is 8N1. I think 8N1 is for me. I can just tell. It's N first of all. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I'm so annoyed talking so much. Duh, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, I said that, it was cool. And then the first one was neutral. Duh, I'm so annoyed. Okay. So here's 8N1, this is neutral, this looks like my shade. It looks like it's gonna be dark just the way I like it. It looks more pink undertone, hold on. I'm thinking that the second one, you know I gotta sing everything. Jesus lamb, now I don't know which one to do. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be 8N1 because the neutral really is for me. Yeah, let's go with 8N1. I don't wanna do this one. This one might be my color for the winter time. Let's do 8N1. Alrighty, so I have some on the back of my hand right here, and I'm just using my flat Kabuki brush from Sigma. Yeah, it looks like a good color. It feels so creamy. Now, I did not prime my face because this is supposed to be matte 
24 hour wear full coverage and i figured why not just see what it looks like without a primer but after all i don't always use primers which if you've been here for a while you recognize that i just don't always use primers this shade is really good it's nice and deep which we know is going to all come together once i put my concealer on i like to focus on the middle of my face first and then use the remainder of the product to go around the sides of my face you know that i have micro bladed brows so i do like to go over over the end of my brow which is where I cut off on purpose because when I do my makeup I like to create a different brow shape than what my original brow shape is so here excess product goes around the face so that there are no what harsh lines Hi. this is looking really good I knew this would be it I wonder if this is the shade that I chose when I bought it last year I don't recall it's still in my kit I need to go look at it if it's not expired I will uh Keep it or give it away. Cause you know, I think foundation lasts for two years. I gotta go check. Wow, this is looking really, really good. It's giving me the same deepness as the Fenty 490. Now, my skin is looking beautifully satin. Dewy gives the impression that it's like wet. It's looking satin. Do you understand what I mean by that? You see the shine, you see the light reflecting. My skin looks beautiful. Now I don't understand because this is supposed to be a matte formula. So is it matte after I set it down? Let's see what Sephora is saying. Okay. Double wear stay in place foundation. Full coverage, long wearing, oil free for combination and oily skin. Oil free. I mean, it looks beautiful. I did my skincare as usual. The finish is matte but I was expecting the finish to be matte like the Fenty matte. You know, there's some foundations that when they dry down immediately, they are matte. Maybe it takes more time, but this is giving me satin right now. But I know y'all love it. And I mean, as far as the shade is concerned, I love this already. So let's go ahead and do the concealer, the eyes, the whole shindig. I'm gonna let you see all of it, but not talk you through it per se. And then we're gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna go to the pool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just see how this is gonna hold up or whatever. I mean, as I kept patting it down, the shine does seem to be diminishing, but it's still not as dry as I would expect. Okay, let's do the face. Yo, seriously? First of all, this lip by Give Beauty from Gwen Stefani, amazing, love it. One of my favorite nudes right now. I'm gonna link everything below that I used, obvi. This foundation looks really good. My skin looks really, really good. 
okay? It looks so smooth. I look satin still, but don't forget I did use a highlighter. My skin just looks really freaking good. Now I understand. This stuff looks so freaking good. What? This is my new foundation, my new favorite. Oh my God. I love it so much. We're gonna do a wear test. Let's just get into that, but I just had to say right now that I absolutely love how my skin looks. Comment below and let me know if you love how my skin looks right now. I am blown away. I cannot believe this. I don't ever want to take this off. Let's do the wear test. All right, check in on this foundation. It is now 4.44. I do my face at 12 o'clock. I am tempted to blot it. That's why I turned the camera on to show you the natural shine that's on my face. It's nothing that is too crazy, but a shine nonetheless. It does feel comfortable. My skin does look beautiful. Remember, it did look satin already in the bathroom when I did the makeup. So I'm not shocked that it naturally still looks satin, but of course oily on the sides of my nose. But I think it looks really good. I want you to tell me what you think. Here we are very close up to the skin and it looks so good. Mind you, I shaved the other day, so. But look at the skin. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. This foundation is still a favorite of mine. I'm actually headed to the pool. I'm gonna change my wig because you know that's a must. Duh. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the pool. I am gonna have on sunglasses, so expect to see the indents here. But let's see how the makeup holds up in the sun. My makeup always holds up in the sun though. I wanna be clear. I've never worn a makeup look that did not hold up in the sun. Even when I was sweating, because you know the key is to let your face dry before you blot your sweat very key. Okay, FYI, before you think it's a new day, all I did was change my lip <laughs> and then I changed my wig because like I said, we're going to the pool. So same day, now let's go to the pool, okay? <laughs> Here we are. Okay, girl, it is now nine o'clock. I did the makeup at 12 and it's now nine o'clock. I'm back home from the pool, obvi. So yeah, this is how my face is looking. Obviously very wet, but not in a bad way, in a very natural way. I did blot my nose with a sheer powder or what, a translucent powder. I did blot my nose one time before I went to the pool. And then I believe while I was there, I took a tissue and did my nose again because the make the sunglasses were falling off my face. And when it's wet is when the makeup separates, but if it's dry, it's not gonna separate. So as you can see, you don't even see the marks from my sunglasses. Look at that, right? Keep the face dry. So other than my nose being naturally shiny in a good way, this looks so good. This foundation looks like butter. It is not matte like it says that it is. It's more satin for me. And I don't have an issue with that. Now, you remember I did not use a primer because I wanted to see how the makeup would perform by itself. And I think it looks really freaking good. And I was at the pool and my face got splashed on accident. Listen, I just know how to keep a face on. I don't know about the rest of y'all. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this wear test, I want you to let me know. Are wear tests helpful for you? Do you want me to do more of these? Because I'd be forgetting to do the check-ins. So if you want me to do more of these, I will set an alarm like I did on my calendar to continue to do the check-ins and do that for other foundations to come. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and give me a thumbs up here and comment and let me know the answer to that question. I'm gonna link two videos here for you to choose from so you can watch one more. Don't go too far. I post three times a week. So enjoy what's going on around here. All right. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.